Welcome back, Rainbow Rhythm Rhythmers. And hello to our new viewers, followers, subscribers, and new besties. Thank you for joining us at Rainbow Rhythms, the show where we look beyond the rainbow and into our community of musical, musical theater. theater. I'm Robin Quintana. And I am Emily Meadows. And we are your Rainbow Rhythms hosts. Your new favorite show with your new favorite people. Us. And previously on Rainbow Rhythms. We spoke to some amazing artists who have created a positive impact on our community. So, if you haven't already, make sure to check it out. But not now, so shove that clicker or that thumb away from whatever device you're watching on. Because today... We are shining a spotlight on our next generation of artists who are en route to becoming your future stars of tomorrow. And coming after all our jobs. <laughs> You've got that right, Emily. <laughs> so make sure you grab some popcorn. Or tissues for crying. Aww. Because we are happy to welcome our first guest of the day... A recipient of the 2022 Rainbow Stage Student Scholarship who is now entering his first year of Sheridan's Bachelor of Music Theatre Performance Program in Oakville, Ontario, please welcome Josh Calabio. Hi, we are here with Rainbow Stage Scholarship Award winner Josh Calabio. Welcome. Welcome Hi. to Rainbow Rhythms. <laughs> um, just tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, okay, so my name is Josh Calabio and as he said, I'm the Rainbow Stage Scholarship winner for 2022. And I just started musical theater in grade 10 and I'm learning all about the musical theater world and I'm going into school for Sheridan College in the fall, September 2022. Sheridan, um, was that the only school that you applied to and how did you find out about it? My heart was pretty set on going into Sheridan and it's because my high school teacher, which happens to be our interviewer today, um, recommended me to Sheridan College and it's a pretty prestigious school so I thought that I'd give it a try and once I got in and all of the, the support system that I had received, I was pretty set on going to Sheridan so I'm very glad that I got accepted. How were you introduced to musical theater, like the acting, singing and dancing? Um, I had been introduced to musical theater in high school in grade 10 by my high school teacher, again Robin Quintana, um, through Beauty and the Beast and I got to play Chip in 2020. After Beauty and the Beast, I got the privilege of performing in the Heights as Sunny and very recently I actually played as Gabe Goodman in the musical Next to Normal by Recycle Town Productions. So what are your future hopes and dreams? Oh, okay. So other than obviously graduating from Sheridan, a big dream of mine is to teach one day because I realized that that's something that I have always wanted to pursue even before um, pursuing musical theater. I'd actually wanted to become a teacher and my, my world has kind of been opened up when I got the opportunity to, to teach in, um, in high school for a dance group that I taught called Motion. And so ever since I had kind of wanted to give the privilege of musical theater or just performing in general to other kids because I also didn't grow up to, um, to have that many opportunities so that's something I'm very passionate about and also after graduating from Sheridan College I hope to one day perform on Broadway so that's a big goal of mine. <laughs> Would you like to pay homage or give any thanks to anyone uh, throughout your journey? So one person that I actually really wanted to thank, thank was um, my high school teacher Robin Quintana who has helped me get into Sheridan College and for <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know how you were gonna react. <laughs> so I wanna thank you for everything that you've done for me and for simply playing games with me as well too and for everything that you've done for me. This is Josh Calabio and now let's head back to the studio. Oh my heart. Thank you so much, Josh, for speaking with us today. And thank you to his high school drama teacher. I wonder who that could be. <laughs> <laughs> and now, a word from our sponsors. Whatever you need, whatever you do, we're here for what moves you. The Canada Council for the Arts. We make art happen. We are back, and joining us next are the 2022 students of RISE Musical Theatre Company. RISE is an acronym for Raising Impact Stars to Excellence. 
Uh, here I am with Jasmine. Hi, Jasmine. Hi. Thanks for chatting with me today. Um, I'm wondering what your experience with musical theater has been prior to doing Rise. Um, well, growing up, I did musical theater all throughout middle school to the end of high school. And then when I graduated, I kind of struggled with finding some kind of musical theater form for people who are older than 18. I do think this program is super, super important. And I think it's one of the, one of the first I've seen in the city where it's created by BIPOC people yeah. for BIPOC people. Mm -hmm. And it's so important because in a lot of those um, other places where you can find training for musical theater, a lot of BIPOC people don't necessarily feel welcome in that space. I think one of my biggest takeaways from this training program is witnessing the power of vulnerability performance. And the artists that take um, part in this program come from varying levels of experience and comfort. And so to see how much you can grow and how much confidence you can build once you show up as your authentic and honest self has yeah. been really meaningful. Representation is really exciting and yeah. when you can see individuals who can kind of share their story and share a part of themselves it's it's just incredible mm -hmm. to watch having like a space where all these incredible BIPOC artists are like in the same room I haven't ever like been exposed to like full BIPOC kind of community so having this kind of space um, especially where we share the same kind of like interests of like mm -hmm. theater and stuff yeah, yeah, yeah. is absolutely incredible mm -hmm. and I think we need to have this like opportunity more yeah what's so great about rise is that immediately it's such a safe space to be in and it's such good vibes all around yeah. so it's really nice to have an opportunity made for you and made accessible for you oh wow that was great emily you looked like you were having a fun time dancing <laughs> oh I, I think that was our field reporter breezy meadows <laughs> to learn more about rise musical theater company Follow them on Instagram at Rise Musical Theater Company. Joining us next is Taylor Gregory to speak about her work with her company, Meraki Theater. Meraki Theater is a Winnipeg-based independent theater company on a mission to make meaningful theater experiences that create change and nurture compassion. All right, we are here with the amazing Taylor Gregory. <laughs> so um, the first question I'm going to ask you is, how did Meraki come about? Oh, great question. Um, so Meraki is a Greek word, which means to put your love and your soul and your creativity into everything you do. So it's a word that I learned when I was teaching in Greece back in 2017. I had the opportunity to, to teach there, to assist and direct a show. I just, yeah, I just fell in love with the word and I felt like it really encompassed like my values and what I wanted to focus on moving forward with creating theater with youth, which was like my ultimate goal. Something that's really important to us is student-driven programming. Programming that really puts like the students at the center. I know that when I was younger, I was told like no a lot with like all of my silly, weird, wild ideas. And I just want to be a person that can say like, yes, like if we want a four-headed fire-breathing dragon in the middle of Hansel and Gretel, then let's do it. Another thing that's important to us at Meraki is mental health. So. Being, being able to incorporate mental health into arts and theater. And uh, an event that we created last year was called Stronger Together. And it's a free mental health arts week, which kind of combines together like theater, different art forms, and mental health. And we work with uh, mood disorders of Manitoba on that. We've got drop-ins for adults. We've got children's theater classes, musicals. We've, we've kind of got it. We've got a like, fun little mixed bag of tricks. How did you find out about Meraki? I've always loved theater, so it, this was a really great experience for me. What are some things that you've learned so far through uh, being in this uh, Meraki camp? I've learned a lot, like how to act, and also like that we get like the chance to actually write it on our own. And if you had one thing that you could tell the audience um, about how much you love Meraki, what would that be? I would say you should definitely try out this camp. You heard it here first. Join the camp. Back to you. Meraki? More like me likey. Me likey too, Emily. <laughs> For more updates on Meraki Theater, visit them at www.merakitheater.com. Or follow them on Instagram at Meraki Theater. Now let's take a look at what's cooking at Rainbow HQ. AKA Rainbow Stage Headquarters. We are back and happy to welcome our last guests of the day. Here to talk about the Village Conservatory, Laurel Fife and Kamel Shua. 
Well, hello viewers at home. We have a very special guest today. I'm joined by Laurel in the studio here. Hello, thank you for having me. Yeah, thank you for coming. So Laurel, have you done the Vic or you're about to start the Vic? I'm about to start next week. I'm oh very excited. Oh gosh, that's very exciting. How did you learn about the Vic? I remember seeing a lot of people posting on Instagram, but they were always doing such cool things yeah. on stage and yeah. singing, and as well as everyone else I've talked to who's done to the Vic. They've had such glowing reviews and experiences. What would you recommend to someone who is interested in auditioning for the Vic? Right. First off, if you're considering it, like, just go for it. If you don't get in, like, you got to do a cool audition, you got to prepare some cool pieces, and you still yeah. have that, like, under your belt. Everyone was so nice in the audition. Yeah. It's yes. not like a panel of judges. Mm -hmm. No one's going to critique you. You're just there to kind of showcase yourself, what you worked on, mm -hmm. and put yourself out there. I think you can only really take risks in a space that you're comfortable in. Well, Laurel, it was lovely to meet you That's and so get chatting. to chat. I'm yes. so excited for you starting the Vic. Awesome. Well, thank you so much again for having me. It's great to talk and share my experience. And yeah, I'm excited to do the Vic. Go Vic. Today, I am joined by my dear friend, Kamel. In my first year, we got to do Shakespeare Fest. And we did like a 12th night of musical. And like they, they wrote all these original songs. It was, it was amazing. And then in our second year, uh, our final kind of project and show was a uh, was a creation piece. If I was to go back, I'd be like, wow, that is such a great opportunity because in this life that we're doing, right, as a, as performers, you can't always wait for opportunity to fall on like yeah, your lap, you absolutely. know, like you sometimes you gotta create work. That's the beauty of the Vic, being able to take your career in your own hands and them helping you do yeah. that, you know? What would you recommend to those bright young faces? Like come with an open mind and come ready to learn, like ready and also just ready to be surprised and like be ready to be humble. There's gonna be a lot of self-growth, but there's gonna be a lot of growth being able to work with other people around mm -hmm. you, being able to collaborate. All right, well, thanks so much for having me, Emily. I appreciate that. And thanks for coming on the show. Um, this has been uh, Rainbow Rhythms. I'm Kamal Shua, your host, and good night, New York. It sure seems like they found their way to Vic Tori. <laughs> <laughs> to learn more about the Village Conservatory and its programming, visit them at www.villageconservatory.com. And that seems to be all the time we have for today, folks. If you like what you saw, be sure to hit that like button. And you better subscribe. Please join us on our next episode as we sit down with American revolutionary Alexander Hamilton and the touring cast of Hamilton the Musical to discuss what really happened with Angelica. Until next time, I'm Robin Quintana. And I'm Emily Meadows. And Peggy. And this is... Rainbow, Rainbow Rhythms. Rhythms. Thanks for coming along. We'll see you back here before too long. Rainbow Rhythms.